Hello, my name is Whiteout. So, in a previous video, I talked about how to put on latex clothing. Now, most people use either silicone lube or talcum powder to put on latex. And this is really important because latex is a natural material. This means that it's covered in pores, and those pores rubbing up against your skin create a lot of friction. And so without using either silicone lube or talcum powder, it makes it really difficult to put on the clothing. But there is also a third method, and that is chlorination. Now what chlorination does is it permanently fills in those pores with chlorine ions in order to make the latex very smooth and very easy to put on without the need of talcum powder or silicone lube. So in this video I'm going to cover two different methods about how to chlorinate latex clothing. We can see which one's the best one and you can go from there and chlorinate your own gear. So let's get to it. We got our kit here with all the stuff that we're going to need in both types of chlorination recipes. So you're going to need two five gallon paint buckets, some bleach, a measuring container, safety goggles, rubber gloves, and this is very important, you're going to need a proper respirator, not like a fetish gas mask like this, because even though technically it is a gas mask, the quality of it has been degraded because it has a hood attached, so it doesn't actually prevent most gases. So you need one that's rated for chlorination. I'm using the 3M model 7503 respirator. Pick it up on Amazon for about 15 bucks. And then I also got some special um, filters for it, which are specifically for chlorine gases. Now how these two chlorination recipes differ is one uses distilled white vinegar and the other uses muriatic acid. Now muriatic acid contains about 32% hydrochloric acid, so this is some dangerous shit, but even still we're going to be producing a lot of toxic chemicals that you should not inhale, again why that respirator is very important. Here is the rubber I'll be chlorinating. It's brand new and has never been worn before, but even coming directly from the manufacturer, it's covered in dirt and talcum powder, which needs to be cleaned off first. I use one of the 5 gallon buckets and some hypoallergenic dish soap to clean the gear. Now it's time for the first chlorination recipe. I'm first trying the recipe that uses muriatic acid and bleach onto a rubber catsuit. The ratio of chemicals is 5 milliliters of muriatic acid to 30 milliliters of bleach to 1 liter of water. In this case, I have the bucket filled with 10 liters of water, which means I need 50 milliliters of muriatic acid and 300 milliliters of bleach. I add the bleach first and then the muriatic acid. The reaction begins instantaneously, so I add the rubber as quickly as possible. I then swish the rubber around in the solution for about 3 minutes. I then move the suit into a second bucket filled with warm water after those 3 minutes. I use this bucket to rinse off any chemicals. I then turn the suit inside out and restart the chemical reaction by adding another 300 milliliters of bleach and 50 milliliters of muriatic acid. After another 3 minutes in the chemical bath, the suit is left in the bucket of water for about 30 minutes. It is then showered off and cleaned of any remaining chemicals. After rinsing out the buckets, it's time to try the second recipe. This uses bleach and vinegar, with the ratio being about 34 milliliters of bleach and vinegar to every 1 liter of water. With a ratio of 10 liters of water, I used about 330 milliliters of bleach and 330 milliliters of vinegar. This reaction appeared to be much less intense than the muriatic acid in bleach. However, it still produced plenty of noxious gas and my gimp was able to smell it more than 25 feet away. For this recipe, I'm chlorinating a pair of latex gloves. I switched the gloves in the solution for about 3 minutes until the chemical reaction stopped, and then I moved them into the bucket of water. These gloves were then turned inside out and more bleach and vinegar were added to the solution where I then tried chlorinating the inside. Finally, the gloves were left in the bucket of water for a half hour before also being rinsed off in the shower.
Well, this has been my video about how to chlorinate rubber. So the two methods I used again were the muriatic acid and bleach, which is what I used for this cat suit here, and then I also used the bleach and vinegar for the gloves. And personally, I think the cat suit turned out a lot better. It's a lot slick. It was very easy to put on. The gloves still have a bit of tackiness to them, although the vinegar and bleach did leave them a bit shinier. Uh, neither of these have been shined afterwards, so I need to shine up this cat suit and the gloves. But even still, I just like the feel of the cat suit a lot better. So if you're going to be chlorinating gear, this is the method that I recommend. But anyways, that's been the video, and until next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. <laughs>